Purvis Payne was deemed intellectually disabled last year, taken off death row and then resentenced today. He was convicted of brutally murdering a woman and her two-year-old daughter back in 1987. WRG's Shea Arthur was there when the judge read the ruling and brings us the emotional reaction. <laughs> A tearful moment. For the first time in more than three decades, there's now a possibility Purvis Payne could once again embrace his family outside of a prison. As he embraced his attorney moments after Shelby County Judge Paula Scan issued her order. Giving a thumbs up to his family and supporters as he left the courtroom. It's just overwhelming. And we started this journey with hope and faith and we can see that our hope and faith has not failed us yet. We never stop believing, I don't care how bad things got. We never stop trusting God because God knows the truth. Judge Scan issued the new sentencing order a month and a half after she listened to two days of testimony for Payne's resentencing hearing. 19 witnesses, including prison wardens, testified on his behalf, describing him as quiet and caring. Today, Scan said the issue has weighed heavily on her, acknowledging how difficult it has been for the families involved. The nature and circumstances of the case are egregious. Uh, the victim's family has suffered uh, tremendously. But she said the evidence shows Payne has made significant rehabilitative efforts while incarcerated and if released from custody would have an extensive support system. Saying the state failed to make its case, his sentences should run consecutively, meaning he wouldn't be eligible for parole until he's 85. Our work for Purvis is not done. This proceeding was never about guilt innocence because our broken system didn't allow for us to present that evidence to the judge at this time. We continue our investigation. We continue to work to exonerate Purvis. Shea Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. And the Shelby County District Attorney Amy Wyrick is asking the State Attorney General's Office to appeal the judge's decision.